input on the changes to the current fund dividend program. Are you considering having an advisory vote like we did back in 99? Uh, no, I don't think uh, an advisory vote would be one of my last choices. I'd rather have a meaningful vote. And I think uh, when governor, when the legislature uh, first uh, prop offered up a, a permanent fund proposal, it was in statute. Governor Hammond vetoed it and demanded a constitutional amendment. That's my first choice. It takes 14 votes, and it takes uh, in the Senate, and it takes 27 in the House. I'm, uh, I, I, am, I have uh, my colleagues know I've been pushing for that. Uh, I think uh, the public created uh, the permanent fund through a vote in 1976. I think. Uh, looking at a, I don't think, we are looking at a, uh, a, a real radical departure from the way it has been managed, uh, pretty significant changes. It's my opinion, and uh, the opinion of a lot of the folks I represent, that uh, the public would provide uh, some uh, some uh, good input in the process. One, anything that uh, the legislature would, would propose would have to be crafted to make sense to the public, and, and, and It'd be more public engagement. It would follow on that same line of bringing the public in. You do by just the very nature that it goes to the ballot, and uh, and it and it has a permanent structure to it when it's when the, when you make the constitutional changes. Uh, uh, a couple of the words that the public uh, finds offensive is often "trust me." That's uh, and has other metaphors and uses it. Uh, I think a public vote, uh, not for the sake of shifting. Uh, the responsibility. I think it. I think it actually enhances our responsibility to work with the public more closely, because it has to go to the ballot. And I think one of the things that I. Uh, one of the things I would like about a constitutional amendment to, to, to have a spending slash revenue limit in there. If oil prices rebound, um, we don't all of a sudden have more money flowing in the gates that uh, than 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 we can really handle on a sustainable basis. It would ratchet down the. Uh, the revenues, and if, oil, if oil prices or other revenues are on the table, so we don't get in the same situation that we got into over the past decade. You learn from the past, hopefully, and that's that a constitutional amendment would allow that type of a spending slash uh, revenue limit from the permanent fund. You know, if that's that'd be my first choice is to have something, not an advisory vote. Uh, I care what people think. I get advisory votes every time I talk to folks, and. And my advisory vote uh, is uh, probably a little more skeptical than, than uh, the folks the governor's talking to. But no uh, advisory vote, if that was the last uh, option I had, absolutely. But uh, constitutional amendment, a meaningful vote is my first choice. Yeah, th thanks, Senator Stoltz. And just a couple of additional comments on that. Uh, you know, I spent some time in the military, and I wouldn't characterize the number of people down here that are trying to convince us about doing X or Y based on what's before us. It's not an army, but it's certainly a platoon. And a platoon, for those of you that weren't in the army, is, has about 40 people in it, and plus or minus a little bit. So it's a bunch of people. Uh, now, the, the other part of that, though, is some people get nervous when uh, my good friend Bill Stoltz talk about the voting factor and the question. But, you know, I read, and there was one in the local newspaper, articles where people are confident about where Alaskans feel. But when you say, well, let's let, let's let Alaskans have a direct voice in there, their confidence appears to be eroded. And so uh, you, you, you can take that and go where you want to, but I know that the people that we're asking to sacrifice and we're take, we want to take some of their potential dollars that go into their pocket uh, have some feelings about this. And I, I am not as confident. And, uh, and how Alaskans feel, as I've read in some of the articles, if you will. So uh, what, what Bill Stoltz said about having people vote on it is one of those things that has to be on the table. Thank you. Next question.